Now I'm gonna show you how to enter a confidence interval for a standard deviation. The problem I'm displaying, I took from my video titled 7.5 part six, standard deviation, etc., and it time stamped two minutes and 35 seconds. I solve this problem and the results I need to get are also displayed on the screen. So what I need to do is take a square root of this value, and on this particular calculator, since the square root is above x squared, I'm gonna need to do that first. So I'm gonna turn my calculator on and hit the green second button so that when I hit the x squared, I get the green symbol above it, which is my square root symbol. I've got a lot of parentheses written inside of my square root for clarity between a subtraction, some multiplication, and some squaring. But on a calculator, you don't need to do all of that. So long as I subtract one from my sample size, n minus one, so long as I do that in my head, five minus one is four, then I can just multiply four with s, my sample standard deviation, so four times 1.41421. Do not forget to square this. That is the most common mistake, is people forget to actually square s, your sample standard deviation. Now I'm going to divide by 9.488, and no end parentheses here, and I don't really need any end parentheses here. I can just hit the Enter button on my calculator, and I get my lower bound of 9.18, etc. I could type all of this in again, but since the numerator is identical and the only difference is the denominator, what I can do on this calculator is actually just bring up the line I typed, arrow up once, arrow up twice. I can't do any editing in this, so I go ahead and hit enter to get my blinking cursor. Now what I'm going to do is hit delete to keep removing each portion of the denominator until I get to my division symbol. And now I can type the denominator of 0.711. I did not need the lead zero. Hit enter and I get my upper bound of 3.35, etc. Remember S, your sample standard deviation, should be less than your upper limit, but greater than your lower limit, somewhere in there.